I'm Captain Tripp with Boat Test, and today we'll talk with a professional fisherman about his experience with Shero propellers. This is a Duck War 30, and it's owned by Tom Nelson. He's a radio host and a professional fisherman based in Everett, Washington. Every year, Tom spends up to 400 hours on the water, and he's always looking for ways to get the most out of his rig. Well, in July 2022, Tom learned about show propellers and decided to put them to the test against his traditional props. And after reviewing the numbers, Tom was in disbelief. Tom, Trip Smith, thanks so much good for to, having me. Good to meet you, Trip. Come yeah, on board, man. Let's do it. That's gonna be some fun. Absolutely. Let's do her. So tell me, how do you use this boat? That's a great question, dude. We try to do everything with it, you know, and make the best of our time out there. And yeah. so we're, we're, we're deep trolling with downriggers. We're deep dropping on the anchor for halibut. We're fishing lingcod. We're fishing rockfish. We'll go up to 60 miles offshore for tuna, oh, yeah. right? Everything from way offshore to almost up at the river mouths in the fall for salmon. We try to do it on the Duckworth. Fantastic. And you do some traveling too? Yeah, we, we'll send the boat up to Sitka and spend a month uh, up there in, the, in you know, southeast Alaska to coastal Oregon, down, down the Buoy 10, the estuary fishery of the mouth of Columbia River. Coastal Washington, CQ, Nia Bay, La Push. By the end of the season, we've seen some critters. Tell you what, let's take her out and see what you do. I'm up for that, man. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Tell me about the low gear maneuverability. One of the most important aspects with regard to safety in the Cheryl, the grab and grip close to the dock gives somebody a fast, safe start to maneuver in their boat. I'd been running nothing but standard props forever. And what struck me from the first time I hit the throttle was the grip and the grab. Immediately, the boat was quieter. Immediately, the boat was faster out of the hole. Immediately, I noticed that these props were something different, something more positive. Since then, I've run these wheels for well over a year. Nobody wants to spend another 25 cents on the dollar for fuel. And, and right now, what I'm getting out of Shero is 20 to 25% better fuel economy. So here we go, let's get up on a plane. This is where I live. 4,200 RPM, okay? So now, 4,200 RPM, we're doing 32 miles an hour, and we're only burning 25 gallons an hour. Previously, with, with standard propellers, I'm doing 24 gallons an hour, 24 miles an hour. I'm doing one mile a gallon. And you can see right here, there's 25 gallons an hour, we're doing 32 miles an hour, and just over 4,000 RPM. We're burning barely 27 gallons an hour doing 33 miles an hour. That is easily two tenths or three tenths better fuel economy than I'm seeing with standard props. But it's not about going fast all the time. It's your range of control with most of the hull out the water. I'm still out of the water and I'm maintaining a plane at 20 miles an hour now. That was not possible before with standard props. And it doesn't seem like much until you get out in a condition in a sea state where you need to run that speed to be safe. And the ability of the Shero props to grip and hold you at your desired speed range is an amazingly important safety characteristic to these props as well. So right now, we have the traditional props on our two Yamahas. We're going to do some running through the mid-range RPMs, see how she feels, check our fuel burn and our speeds and how she planes out at different levels. First, we're going to start at 3,000 RPMs. So we're holding 3,000 right now. Let's take a turn. I instantly feel some slippage. Hear the RPMs kick up and I'm also getting that feedback on the dash here, my instruments. Let's come back, see if we can recreate it. Yes, and this, wow. It's fluctuating quite a bit. Now let's straighten back out, dropping back to our original RPM. Okay, so whenever we do make a turn, she does want to slip quite a bit, but also we can even see the RPMs are different on the different engines. So now we bumped up, we're trying to hit 3,500. It's a little tricky to get there because we do have a lot of prop slippage just in general. That's making it harder for me to just hold that RPM. But we're there, 
<laughs> as best we can. So let's make our turns again, see what happens. Having trouble here. That's all that prop slippage. Backing her down. Okay, I'm about to make my turn. All right, we're making our turn here. See our RPMs jump again. And note, I'm not touching the throttles. That is pure prop slippage that's causing this RPM range fluctuation. Now let's see, dropped way down. So now we brought her up to 4,000. We're gonna do the same test here. Let's bring her to starboard. Still have some RPM fluctuations, not quite as much of this RPM because the boat is a little more on plane. Come back to port, still more prop slippage. And I can hear it, and I can even feel the dash vibrating through that. All right, uh, do we have permission to crack the... Now we're here changing our traditional props and putting on the Sharrows. Sharrow props on. Let's take her out. See how she handles coming away from the dock. Definitely responsive coming away from there. Okay, we're at low speed, not noticing a lot of vibrations. Nice and smooth. This is good. Let's repeat what we did earlier. We'll bring it up to 3,000. So as I'm coming up to three, I automatically can tell that it truly is a smoother ride through the water. Okay, and it's definitely holding my RPMs. Wow, that's so much better. Like I don't have to fiddle with it. I just came to 3,000 instantly. <laughs> All right, let's, let's give her a turn and see what she'll do. No. Oh, well, it didn't even go over 3,100. Let's go back left. No way. Okay. There's definitely a difference there. We had not much fluctuation there. Let's bring it up to 3,500. See if we get the same results. I think we will. <laughs> I instantly have a lot of faith in these props and all these claims that I've been hearing now. Definitely not fluctuating up like we saw earlier. Wow, no prop slippage, none of that. And I think just our attitude of the boat is a little better at this RPM. And our speed is definitely notably higher. Now we're gonna bring it up to 4,000. Comes there nice and easily and holds. I'm not fighting with my throttles to try to find that right RPM. Now let's trim it up a little bit. Okay, feel the boat lifting up out of the water a bit. Now we'll bring our RPMs back, because as we trimmed it up, our RPMs increase, and our speed increase as well. But for that efficiency, we could bring our RPMs back down and still maintain that speed that we wanted for good cruising. And also, now the boat's actually a little bit higher out of the water. So if you're in that rougher seas, she's going to take that on a little bit better. All right, let's bring her around in the turn. Yes, no slippage. They are holding. Anything to dip a little bit because we're adding a little bit of a challenge for our motors. So that's normal. And it is a little quieter in here too, I believe. Straighten her back up. And she comes right back to our 4,000 without us having to ever touch the throttles. That's impressive. Let me bottom line this for you. There has not been an advance in propulsion technology on the outboard side, really, or anything else in my life. This is the first time somebody's come up with a product that you can bolt on your boat feel in the seat of your pants, save you 20% on fuel. 
there is no comparison between standard wheels and the Shero wheel. Traditional props slip, traditional props don't provide stern lift, traditional props are louder and burn more fuel. Not a lot of people know about the Sharrows yet. That's gonna change. There's some big goddamn crabs. Right. So we've got about a half dozen crab pots set out. They've been soaking for 48 hours. We're headed to pick them up, but we're also getting bait ready to re-bait these pots. So they can put them back down, catch some more. So tell me about you know the, the maneuverability that you find with these because I know we're out here we get the wind the waves the current just like docking a boat it's all about aspect and so now we have 400 feet of line down too yes so it's a big safety issue every year trip we lose people and I mean people really? fall overboard die sink their boats everything because they got a line in the in the wheel year after year we see smaller boats in particular not have that great attention to detail with regard to their aspect their boat control around these pot lines. They get into trouble quick. It happens so, so just, quick. So just having that extra maneuverability, the boat's gonna react. Quickly. It also makes it a lot easier for me to teach people how to maneuver the boat with the Shero props because of the immediate grab, particularly in reverse. This line here is our crab pot coming up. This is great. They're letting me do something, which they should. Should have about 300 foot of line reeled in here for each of these pots. So we typically fish two or three times the depth and length of line. Pots fish better. Sometimes we get other derelict gear. So it kind of helps us clean the grounds a little. Yep. Woo! Oh, dude. Go daddy. Oh, ho, ho. big boy. Oh, look at this one. Oh, <laughs> here, who needs to take a pee? <laughs> I feel the weight of that thing, dude. Wow, that is a lot of meat. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> slugs, dude. Those are me in there. Dude, look at them all. Freaking purple backs. What, there's, so there's probably 10 keepers in here, and the smallest one's probably seven inches across uh, okay. this back. They're just hard, rock hard. Just freaking specimens, well dude. Well done, guys. Yeah. Woo-hoo. <laughs> yeah. Woo for real. Wow. I got to spend an amazing day with Tom Nelson. A lot of firsts for me, catching the Dungeness crabs. But another first was experiencing the Shero propellers. And I have to say, I see what it's all about now. We are Shero. We Shero the shit out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Tripp with Boat Test. Remember, Life's better on a boat.